Wainscoting doesn't have to stop where regular walls end. The best installations also travel upstairs, creating a seamless and beautiful extension of the overall look. This quick video tour shows the basics of installing solid oak raised panel wainscoting as part of a staircase in a century home. If you're new to wainscoting, be sure to watch our raised panel wainscoting installation video to learn basic part names, project layout strategies, and to see how everything goes together. Stair wainscoting uses all the same components as regular horizontal wainscoting, except that everything's installed at an angle. And your first step is measuring what that angle is. Elite Trimworks stair wainscoting kits come with styles and rails that are longer than necessary. This allows for cutting on site to match the unique angle of your staircase. In the project we're touring here, both the top and bottom staircase rails meet the ends of the top and bottom room rails at a simple miter angle. This happens over a custom cut transition style that is angled on both top and bottom ends. A miter saw makes it easy to cut the top and bottom ends of stair styles at the critical angle you measured earlier. The angled top and bottom ends of the panels can also be cut and routed on site. Alternatively, size and angle figures can be submitted with your order for custom cutting by our Elite Trimworks team. One of the best ways of dealing with the bottom rail of staircase wainscoting is by building the stairs with a gap between the ends of the rough treads and risers and the wall. Make this gap wide enough to allow the bottom rail to slip into it, with finished treads and risers installed tight to the face of the bottom rail later. With the bottom rail in place and the styles and panels cut to the appropriate angle, install the transition style at the bottom of the stairs, then a panel, then more styles and panels as you work up the staircase. As you progress, leave a 1 16th inch gap between the panels and styles to allow for possible wood movement during humid weather. Finish up by cutting and installing the cap trim. 